To access the databases that we have available to you here at Harlan, you can go to hawklibrary.com slash databases. This will take you straight to the page where we have all of them listed, links to all sorts of different things. Feel free to look around. The one that's probably going to be most useful to you in uh, any type of research project that you're going to be doing will be the Gale uh, Power Search and the rest of the Gale databases. So to cross search all of these separate collections, you can do one Power Search if you'd like or you can go into one of these. For now, I'm going to show you how to do a power search. Now, if you're logging in from home, after you click power search, you may have to type in a username and password. The username and password is NISD1 for the username and research for the password. If you ever forget that, know that on this page, you can go right here and click usernames and passwords and it'll pop up. But if you'd like to write it down right now so you know where it's at, uh, that's good too. So again, NISD1 research. Once you're here, you're going to click on the cross search button and we're going to do a general power search, not the literature one. So in the search bar, you can type in your topic And then you'll get a results page similar to when you Google something. You can select the kind of result you'd like, whether it be an academic journal, a magazine, news article, images, and so on. You can also filter your results by these different parameters over here. Document type, a subject, date. Just a quick tip, you're going to always want to click full text documents. This will make sure that all of your results are full entire articles and not just bits and pieces. When you click on a result, this will take you to the piece of writing. And of course, you're going to want to read it if you think it'll be useful. But also, if you want to go back to it later, you can send it to your Google Drive as long as you're logged into a Gmail account. Uh, whether it be your personal one or school one, you can send it to Drive and it'll show up as a bright orange folder titled Gale Power Search. And then you can also send it to OneDrive, email, download, or print it. And last but not least, you can also cite the source if you end up using it in part of your research for a project. To do that, you just click in the top right-hand corner on the quotation marks and select your format.